Articuno, Rodom, Moltres, Obstagoon, Rabombi, Eye of Armor. Let's play. What's the chow chin chow? Slanter Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor Expansion Let's Play. Hey. In the last episode, we made our way to the Isle of Armor. And we met up with Clara, who uh, had a battle with us and told us not to go to the Master Dojo. And I had a little bit of an adventure around the Isle of Armor as well. Off screen, I've done a bit more adventuring. I've ran into a few Pokemon that I actually kind of like. There's a lot of 5th gen Pokemon here, which is rather interesting. And uh, one of my favorite 5th gen Pokemon is here uh, as well. Lillipop, which means Stoutland is here, uh, which means I can evolve into Stoutland. And I absolutely love Stoutland. So expect uh, when I finally decide to make that team, uh, as we come into this LP, uh, as we go further on in the LP, I mean, uh, yeah, you can definitely expect to see a Yorkshire to Stoutland on the team. Like, definitely that is going to happen. But today, we're going in the Master Dojo. Yeah, we're going to do exactly what we were told not to do in the last episode. See, I didn't, I said I wasn't going to do it. I didn't, but I didn't say I was going to do it next episode. Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home. Seems that way, yep. I did my best to welcome him, but... Uh, he uh, suddenly left after our battle. I've been hoping that we'd be getting to welcome a new member to our family here, too. Well, hello there. And who are you, love? Huh? Ah! Of course, you must be the new student that's supposed to be joining today. Uh, to joining the dojo today. Um, I think you've got the wrong person. Right, right, right. Exactly, ma'am. I swear, uh, it, he must have changed his mind about joining. Uh, this dojo. Uh, here you are. I'm so happy uh, that you decided to come after all. Oh, everything's uh, just uh, coming up roses then. Now, I'm uh, sh not. I'm quite sure that you, uh, they've already told me your name, but it's Joe. Hi. Oh, so you're Joe? Of course you are, love. Uh, though, I'm not, uh, uh, though, I'm sure, uh, I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. The name's Honey. Okay. Uh, I keep the place running. You can consider me the lady of the house. Not that a master dojo is any old house, by the way. Ah, oh, why? How? What does he think he is doing just showing up like that? This isn't good. Miss Honey uh, will know that I lied. Some, seems like you've already met Clara. Bit of an odd ducklet, isn't she? Yeah, she is very much an odd ducklet. <laughs> but she's the... Uh, but she's one of our own. She's training hard to become uh, here at the dojo so she can become a gym leader one day. Poison type gym leader, possibly? By a uniform, maybe. I can trust the two of you will get along, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, we'll be the best of friends. Oh dear, look at me. I'm uh, making you uh, stand around uh, outside after you've come all this way. No, 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 I'm supposed to be outside. We're supposed to be social distancing. It's fine. It's fine. We're supposed to be outside. In fact, could you stand a little, maybe a bit further away, please? 
you know, that's the rules. You need to span six feet, so, and I don't think this is six feet, so please just stand. Can you go back? Can you back up, back up a bit, please? Come in, come in. Um, don't mind the uh, faint sense of sweat. Listen, you. If you tell Miss Honey about what's happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size, you understand? Clara, you can't make threats. I'm the, ch I'm the Pokemon League champion. You can't make threats. You're going to get your ass whooped. And you'll get your ass whooped by a lily pup. Because in the... Uh, uh, because... Uh, tell you what. I'm going to have my own team by episode 4 of this series. So... You will have to see a Stoutland on this team. If I, you'll see a Stoutland. You might see Quagsire. Um, a Moongus is a thing. But then again... Uh, I kind of want to see if G Max, uh, when I get G Max uh, Squirtle and G Max uh, Venusaur as well, uh, you know, Bulbasaur as well. So I kind of want to see if I can get G Max Venusaur ready to go because I don't know when that's going to be. Also, there's Cupfu uh, and Urshifu as well. So that's at least four Pokemon I'm considering on this team already. I don't know about the other two. Fletcher does an interesting idea though. Yeah, that's. That's a possible five. And, and for the last slot, I have no idea yet. Maybe one of those Zoawaras that's going around. Maybe especially that shiny one. If we get a million people to do max raid battles on Zoroaura, uh by the end of the month, does uh, this going out in June? So please get on that, please. Please get a million people doing max raid battles in Zero Aura because I would love a shiny Zero Aura to be the last part of my team. That would be so cool. Okay. Interesting. Everyone, uh, I have an announcement to make. Uh, I've got, we've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Joe. I'm sure you'll have a lot to teach him. Huh? Welcome to the dojo. All of our students uh, are good, hardworking, uh, good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Now, uh, here's some, uh, here's someone that's not listed in our database for students. Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual f uh, for you to bother get greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde, my darling son. Hmm, are you an outsider? Here, you should give this a try. I've got an EXP charm. Okay, what the hell's an EXP charm? EXP charm, a charm that increases EXP points that you get. A machine-like object such as uh, is inside this charm. Oh. So is that like a lucky egg? Do I get more exp or is that like the experience share? Or is that like an add-on to the experience share in this case? But don't open it, okay? It's got some uh, tech that I developed in there and I don't want you to ruin it. Alright, I mean, I'll, I'll leave it alone. I'm sure it'll come in great use though. He's uh, so good with his hands. Always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent over there is my darling hubby and the grandmaster of this dojo. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why, hello there! My name is Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know? Well, I'm, my name is Joe, and I'm also rather good at Pokemon battles. When it comes to normal battles. Draft League, I'm awful. I'm pleased, to, uh, as cheese, that you ch chose to join us. You gave me the option, Pokemon. You gave me the option. Cheers to meet you. <laughs> yes. You gave me the option to make the pun. I'm gonna make the pun. Don't give me options to make puns. You know the rules, Pokemon. <laughs> I see you've got a sense of humor about you. Good. Good. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. I bet you know that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've got a kid with him, so of course you know that he's a real beast when he gets serious, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. By the way, my, uh, in case you didn't know, guys, my LPs are not for kids. I make adult humor here. I make references and jokes and stuff like that of the adult nature. And I'm also kind of loud too, and sometimes I swear, so maybe kids shouldn't watch me. Well, uh, darling, I'll uh, leave the rest to you then. Yeah, this is my favourite part. I want to see how good you are. So, how about a battle with little old me? Just say the word whenever you're ready. Alright, uh, how about now? Are you ready to battle? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, let's get this started. Uh, this is the best way to get to know my new students. Alright, let's do it. You were challenged by Dojo Master Mustard. Mean food. Yippee, I can't I can't wait to see our battle. Okay, level 61. Here I am at level 68. Okay, yeah, I'm a little over level for this fight, I will admit, but um, again, this is not my permanent team. Uh, my permanent team will be coming to you guys in episode 4. I just need to start working on it and I have a few ideas already of what I'm planning to do with it. So I'll sort, I will be sorting that out uh, between episodes, hopefully. Just depends on like what these situations are, because I have a few ideas on what my permanent team for this uh, LP is going to be, just I don't know yet. So at this moment in time, I have my Nuzlocke, Mas uh, my Nuzlocke All-Stars and of course Lizzie as well, my starter from Pokemon's uh, Sword. Shinx. I did not see a Shinx out there in the world. I now want one. Right, I want this. Uh, Sam, can you come out here and deal with this Shinx, please? But I want a Shinx. I don't know where he got a Shinx from him. Because I did not see a Shinx out there in the dojo. Uh, in in the wild area, so I'm going to have to look for that. I mean, I have Intimidate 2. Oh, no, I don't. I can't remember what ability Sam has, actually. Wow. I guess the Intimidate makes you live for Bulldoze. Oof. Super duper effective. I mean, danger, he says. Yeah, you're, yeah you are very much in danger. Whoa, crit! Okay! You didn't need to get serious over here, Mustard. Okay. Zero goes to level 69. 
I beat Dojo Master Mustard. That's everything I hope for and even more. Cool. Huh. <laughs> I lost. You're pretty strong, aren't you? The newbie won. Master was or wasn't going all out, but still pretty impressive. Who's that new kid anyway? Hmm. The way you bow really shows me how much you care for your Pokemon. Even if you've come because of a misunderstanding, uh, as long as you'll learn, you have the will to learn, then you are welcome at the Master Dojo. I think we can help each other out because uh, help each other become stronger. I'm happy that you've come to join us. On that note, here's your dojo uniform. We've got the dojo uniform. Hmm. Um, it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of it myself personally, but okay. With that, you'll fit right in with the other students in my master dojo. Yeah, but I don't want to fit right in. I stand out. I, I'm Lancer and Joe. I stand out from the crowd. Hey, newbie. If you want to challenge... If you want to change or take a break, you can use that room over there. Now then. With Joe uh, here, now the dojo is at its max capacity. It's time to start our training. You'll be uh, facing free trials. Free trials? Wait. Why is there a max capacity for this dojo? Because we're in social distancing times. We're only supposed to have like 20% of our people at... 20% uh, capacity. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. And there's more. The person who completes these free trials will receive secret armor. Uh, the secret armor of this dojo. Okay. Ooh. Secret set of armor. I want it. Yeah, <laughs> That's the spirit. Now let me explain the first trial. Ah, uh, but Master, I haven't got to change into my uniform yet. Why does that kid get a uniform and not me? Not fair. No, I'm pretty sure you probably had your opportunity to get a uniform. Oh dear. Do you really not have a uniform? My bad, my bad. That's an easy fix. I have another uniform right here for you, Clara. Heh. <laughs> The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Um, Clara got a dojo uniform, Pope? Huh? What was that? Ah, uh, it's gone. Where did my dojo uniform go? Poop. 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 Huh? Pook. That speed. Was it really the Slowpoke? I've never seen Slowpoke move that fast. Neither have I. I don't think Slowpoke can move that fast. Give it back. Give me my dojo uniform. Slow. Slow. Oh, well, they apparently they can move quickly, then. Hey, give it back! Whoops. 
I guess I'll let them out their Pokeballs a little too soon. <laughs> Master, what's up with those Slowpoke? This isn't... Uh, this is the first... Is this the first trial? Oh, this is the first trial, my students. You got to chase after those fast slowpoke, trained uh, with uh, care by little old me. But that's not all. You have to defeat all the slowpokes too. And uh, while you're at it, could you get Clara's uniform back? Oh, we have to do that too. Well, that's fine. Do your best, you lot. Okay. Interesting. Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? Um... Uh, Nah, I'm fine for the moment. No need to change. Time to chase down those fast slowpoke. Yeah, can I go and heal my foot? Can I go and heal my team first, please? Oh. Hmm. Perfect. Now, it's sure to work. All I have to do is push the on button. So here we go. Let's push it. Cripes! It powered down. It still needs more watts. I have watts. I have loads of watts, like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of watts. We're still my Pokemon. like a bedroom up there or something like that. Change my outfit. Oh, I can change it to anything. Cool. Okay change it to anything I've already got. Does my XP charm work um, as I intended? Yes, it probably does. I don't know. I haven't looked. What is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of junk parts to look like a Pokemon. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you, you might uh, be the type. This is my Clamorac, the Cramoratmatic, and just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. It's uh, my brilliant uh, thing to take on recycling. Though it doesn't seem to work right now since it's a bit out of power. It, if you have enough watts, but mummy, uh, uh, won't give me her uh, any more of hers dude you can have some of mine I have loads of them all it would take is a mere 500 watts uh, to get the uh, camera aromatic up and running you know sure I have that oh seriously you'll give me 500 watts yeah, easy. Done. I have like 458,000 of them. I'd, uh, I'd let you take it outside and collect... Uh, 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 to collect 500 watts and the outside for... Me. Well, let's just say our systems are compa aren't compatible. What is your name again? Joe? 
I guess you're more the outdoorsy type, huh? I'll feed these once uh, you gave me to the camera at once. And power on. Tam. Bam. Perfect. Just perfect. Put four items that you don't need and I'll give you one new item in exchange. If you put four items of the apricorns uh, that grow here in the Isle of Armour, you'll be able to get a rare Pokeball if you're really lucky. Since you gave me the Watts uh, and all for free, I'll let you use the Cramoratic as much as you like. Cool. That is, that is an interesting idea. So that's how we get the Kirk Balls. The first trial is for you to chase down those fast Slowpoke. And while you're at it, could you go and get uh, the Dojo uniform back they stole? Sure. Here's the slowpoke. They are actually pretty fast. Are they going to run into the wild area? Okay. Can you tell me where the Slowpoke are? <laughs> I've been running so long my legs can feel like they're going to fall off. If I had a bike it would be much more easy to catch those fast Slowpoke. I mean I have a... I have a bike. But I'm not very good at I'm not very good at using it on my joypad. I'll let you go about your day, Fletchinder. Okay, they are fast. If I stand right here. Yep, there you go. It's one of the fast slow folks. Defeat it and get back the uniform. All right, Zero, you know what to do. Sunlight is harsh. Do it. Overdrive. Oh, okay. So you have super effective psychic as well. Overdrive. Nice. Slow. You've got Clara's dojo uniform back. 
You beat only two of the slowpokes are left. Nice. Okay, so where is the other slowpoke? And I'll get on my bike as soon as I actually figure out where it is. There we go. I see you. Excuse me, Lily Gallant. There we go. These things are really fast. Put it into overdrive, Zero. Oh, he's got Rain Dance too. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Nice work, Zero. Poe? Hey, I got, P I got Clara's Dojo Tea and Dojo Shorts. Uh, only one of the fast slow pokes are left. Okay. Now it's a question of where. Hey, I got Poke Doll. Nice. Oh, there's Chansey. Cool. The fast slowpoke aren't great at swimming. They couldn't cross the river. Look around the wetlands. They'll they probably didn't go further than that. Okay, so these I mean they're Galean slowpokes, so they're not water type. They're psychic. Uh, they're pure psychic type. Actually, is slowpoke is normal slowpoke pure psychic as well? I think it might be. And then they gain psychic water type when they evolve into normal things but like here in the in the Gala region uh Galean Slowpoke is Galean Slowbro is uh, ah there you are Galean Slowbro is psychic poison type and as far as I can tell I f oh wait Wait, there's just Talon Flame just out here? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. If there's just Talon Flame about, I want one of those on my team. I was gonna catch a, I was gonna catch a Fletchinder. And then I'll evolve it into Town and Flame using my uh, max EXP candy that I have. You know, because I've got loads of EXP candy from doing, uh, well, from doing Community Raid Hour and lots of other things as well that I do. And I also have loads of Dynamax candy too. Crit catch! Oh, it's a fail! Oh, yeah, that can happen. Not every quick catch actually works. It's happened quite a bit. Uh, it's, you know, it's happened quite a bit for me actually that uh, I get crit fails. I would love to have a Talon Flame on the team. I love Talon Flame. It's one of my favourite Sip Gem Pokemon. Get in the ball, please, Talon Flame. One. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to hit you, aren't I? Alright, fine, I'm going to hit you. Uh, poison jab. Maybe you'll be able to take a poison jab from me.
Oh, you are. Cool. All right. Ball. Well, I don't think you will let tip. You definitely won't let tip. Oh, come on. Seriously? You don't even bounce for me? Come on, Talonflame. I'm, I'm going to call you Robin. You'll be... You'll be great. But you go... You'll get on the team and everything. Get in the ball. One. Two. Lantern Gem. Talonflame! And that is a teammate. That got Lane Slowpoke. Um, once I figure out how to evolve Galane Slowpoke, that is. Because I'm not exactly sure myself yet how to do that. I'll look into it. But, as I said, I'm calling you Robin. You actually look like, well, your lower forms actually more look like a robin than you do, but like, still, I'm guessing you're based on a robin. I'll put you in the box for a moment in time with my other Pokemon that I'm going to be using. It's a bit it's a bit weird. I'll tell you that for free. This, uh... This idea. See, I don't have to run after them. I don't have to catch up with them on my bike. I just stand right in front of them and wait for them to catch me because, you know, they only go in rounded circles, so they'll eventually catch up with me if I stand right in the way. Okay, Zero, thank you for living. Zero, overdrive! Down! There we go! Come on! We got Dojo... We got the... Dojo Gloves and Dojo Legwear! You got all of Clara's uh, Dojo Wear! You can take it. You should take it back to to mustard. I will do that in the. And this is the. This is the brawler's cave. Oh, there's Loudred and Wisma here, and Swoobat. Holy Raff. Blue Jay would love it here. Yeah. Blue Jay would love it here. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to end off today's episode here. Uh, in the next episode, we will return to the Master Dojo with Clara's uniform in hand and see where we go from there. I would continue on, but like... Uh, community raid hour starts in like 10 minutes for me, so I gotta get uh, I gotta get over that. I gotta get back over to the uh, to the wild area back in uh, Gala, and uh, uh, you know the mainland Gala, and get on with some uh, Zoro Aura raids. Like that's uh, gonna happen, you know. Million people doing Zoro Aura raids by the end of the month, and we get a shiny Zoro Aura. So let's get it done, okay? And until next time. I'm Lancer and Joe, you've been watching another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor Expansion Let's Play. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. But until next time, mean to let Pokemon get to Laza, everybody get Pokemon. Awooga! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first 
when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.